my guru maharaj asked me that if you get some money you print books so i took up this from his mouth that is very fond of books and he told me personally that if you get some money print books that for i am stressing on this point where is book where is book where is book so kindly help me this is my request uh, print as many books in as many languages and distribute throughout the whole world hi krishna everyone Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shrimati Bhaktivedanta Swaminiti Namane Namaste Saraswati Deve Goravani Pacharine Nivishesha Shunyavari Pashtata Deshatarine Shri Krishna Sankirtan Yagya Ki Shri Rupabhupad Ki So <clears throat> I'm entering the, uh, the Bhadra campaign of uh, 2021 uh, Go to Goloka a little late there's just a, a few days left in this most auspicious yagya but i didn't want to miss out i've been busy here in uh, vrindavan india with a new project in which we're cooperating with the uh, prestigious uh, vrindavan research institute to preserve and uh, publish the works of our previous acharyas just the other day i held in my hands um the original handwritten copy of shri rupa goswami's bhakti rasam mita sindhu as well as um one of my great heroes narottam das takur his prarthana <coughs> being um part of this important seva has only deepened my appreciation for how our shri prabhupad has presented these numerous teachings to the entire world in the form of his books through his uh, bhakti vedanta purports he has essentially summarized the, the vast knowledge of the vedas and our acharyas in a way that is uh, understandable to common men and women we cannot underestimate the value <coughs> of such a contribution access to uh transcendental knowledge by which one uh can conquer over the material energy and return back home back to godhead is really the greatest asset of human society <coughs> janaka pandit says sabari bushanam chandra nani nam bushanam pati prithvi bhu shanam raja vidya sarvash bushanam <coughs> quote The ornament of night is the moon. The ornament of women is a good husband. The ornament of the earth is the pious king, and knowledge is the ornament of everything. Of course, knowledge is certainly appreciated in modern society, but uh more as a way to navigate through material life. I was reading the other day that <coughs> the uh US government spent 752 billion dollars on 48 million children in public schools in the year 2019 and while that is admirable and necessary in the ultimate sense spiritual education spiritual knowledge is the priority because material education is good up until the moment of death you can't take it with you but the gains of um spiritual education are permanent there's that famous verse in bhagavad gita neha bhikkhamo nashrosti pratyavayo navidyate svapam apyasya dharmasa taryate mahato bhayat quote in this endeavor there's no loss or diminution and a little advancement on this path can protect one from the most dangerous type of fear of course we've all seen that most people in this world today don't see the urgency of spiritual life and 
with all due respect, they regulate it to you know one or two days of the week at most. But as devotees, we're trained to see differently. Chanaka Pandit says in uh, his Niti, Niti Shastra 213, quote, let not a single day pass without your learning a verse, half a verse, or a fourth of it, or even one letter of it, nor without attending to charity, study, and other pious activity. All right, Krishna. <clears throat> and people's interest in spiritual knowledge will actually uh, decrease even more, even more as Kali Yuga advances. Tadas janu dinam dharma satyam shosham shema dhaya kalena malina rajan nyakshat yayur balam shmiti. Another famous verse. Quote, then, O king, religion, truthfulness, cleanliness, tolerance, mercy, duration of life, physical strength, and memory will diminish day by day because of the powerful influence of the age of Kali. <clears throat> nevertheless, nevertheless, it's our duty as Sridhar Prabhupada's representatives to bring his teachings the philosophy and culture of Krishna consciousness to everyone's doorstep. Because we have faith that such book distribution can actually counteract the influence of Kali Yuga. Yes. Counteract the influence of Kali Yuga. That's how powerful is Sri Krishna Shankirtan. Param Vijayate Sri Krishna Shankirtan Yagya. May it always be victorious. Actually, we, <clears throat> we prefer to focus on another verse of Srimad Bhagavatam. Um, 12, 1252. Famous, but... Quote, On the other hand, that literature which is full of descriptions of the transcendental glories of the name, fame, form, pastimes, and so on, of the unlimited Supreme Lord, is a different creation, full of transcendental words directed toward bringing about a revolution, a revolution in the impious lives of this world's misdirected civilization. Such transcendental literatures, even though imperfectly composed, are heard, sung, and accepted by purified men who are thoroughly honest. So, Today, the important line there is that the, um, our, our scriptures, this Bhagavatam in particular, it can counteract the influence of uh, Kali Yuga by a revolution. <laughs> Revolutions change everything. <laughs> History has shown that. And what type of revolution is this? A revolution in the impious lives of this world's misdirected civilization. And how to do that? By this literature. In other words, we, as the humble representatives of Sridhar Prabhupada and Sridhar Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, and all our previous acharyas who really, you could say, worked towards this moment where the Sankirtan movement would flood the world. Uh, by their mercy, we can, as their humble representatives, hold back the tide of Kali Yuga by flooding the world with sets of Srimad Bhagavatam with the purports of Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Sridhar Prabhupada. It should be noted in this regard that Vaisheshika Prabhu and his team from around the world are most expert at this. They have the drive, they have the motivation, and they have the means to deliver. It's remarkable that in the midst of a, a worldwide pandemic during the past two years, 2020 and 2021, um, they have managed to distribute not hundreds, not thousands, not tens of thousands, but millions of books. In 2020, the Bhadra campaign managed to distribute uh, two million copies of Bhagavad Gita alone. And this present marathon, with just a few days left, you're all aiming for 25,000 sets of Sriman Bhagavatam. 
Much of this success, I have to say, is due to Vaisheshika's innovation, his spirit of innovation, born from Sridhar Papa's order to us to tax our brains how to distribute books. This is Vaisheshika Prabhu, using the internet and just inspiring devotees in so many novel ways. <laughs> Traditional ways and novel ways to get those books out. <clears throat> Innovation is important as time goes on. We have to innovate our preaching without compromising our core values in Krishna consciousness. The leaders could do this. <clears throat> well, in a letter to Karanda Prabhu on November 13, 1970, <clears throat> Sridhar Prabhupada wrote, quote, the new procedures you are instituting on the Sankaton party are very encouraging to me. The opportunities for expanding the Sankaton movement are unlimited. We should tax our brains as to what is the best way to present Krishna consciousness to a particular people at a particular time and place. <clears throat> I know for certain uh, that Sridhar Prabhupada is very, very pleased with Vaisheshika Prabhu and his team, who have indeed found the most innovative and su successful ways for increasing book distribution in these last two years. The facts speak for themselves. I just quoted how many books have gone out in these last two years and more. The facts speak for themselves, or as we say in Sanskrit, falina parichate, falina parichate. Judge the success or failure of an activity by its result. Nothing speaks louder than success. <laughs> so this is actually an unprecedented moment, an unprecedented moment in the history of our movement. We should all recognize that and, and uh, be happy. <laughs> chant Hare Krishna and be happy. We chant to the world. So in these final few days, we encourage all of you spiritual warriors engaged in this Maha Yajna to make a final push, a final push to achieve the goal. No doubt this is the best use of your time. For Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur once said, quote, this preaching work will do good for you and for others as well. Meaning uh, it does good for those who preach because they get mercy and those who hear the preaching, they get mercy. <laughs> And this particular type of preaching we're doing, book distribution, I would say that those people who get the books, they get double the mercy because they have Srila Prabhupada's teachings that they can refer to for the rest of their life to navigate through life. And some of them will become devotees. That's for sure. So this book distribution is so important. We, we should never make the mistake of regulating book distribution to something of the past. It's the responsibility of each generation of ISKCON devotees to maintain and increase the distribution of Sridhar Prabhupada's books. That is made very clear <coughs> in Sridhar Prabhupada's statement that his books would, well, they'll become the law books for the next 10,000 years. He said that. His books will be the law books for the next 10,000 years. Spiritual law books, forming uh, an authorized system of spiritual life based on the Yuga Dharma of chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Brihat Madanga. And Sridhar Prabhupada made it very clear that he wanted this for the whole time of 10,000 years and beyond. He wanted this. Quote, he, he spoke in one lecture, this, our book distribution, is the most important task in our society. 
Therefore, I am giving it so much stress and I'm working so hard on this because this is my life and soul according to the order of my Guru Maharaj. And by his grace, it is to some extent successful. I took it seriously. I take it seriously now. That is my life and soul. I never tried in India to construct big temples or even in your country we didn't. I never tried, but I was selling personally books. That is the history. And that history must go on, Prabhus. That is the real history of the world, the most significant history of the world. So as disciples and followers of Sri Prabhupada, we're all obliged to fulfill that desire of Sri Prabhupada. That's very clear. Srimad Bhagavatam 3, 24, 12, in the purport. This is such, for me, it's such an important part of that purport. Prabhupada writes, quote, to honor the spiritual master means to carry out his instructions word for word. To honor the spiritual master means to carry out his instructions word for word. Of course, this task before us is no easy task. <laughs> Logic tells us that to implement a spiritual movement in the material world um, goes against the grain, to use a common saying. But it can be done. Because spirit is more powerful than matter. And how will we do it? How, this is a great challenge. Those of you who have preached, you know it's never easy. Prabhupada told me one time. He slammed his fist on the table. When did I ever say preaching is easy? Well, how to do this, to fulfill this desire of Sri Prabhupada? Well, Prabhupada has said, and I quote, along with the instruction of the spiritual master comes the ability to execute it. And a part of the joy of doing Sankirtan, doing book distribution, is that a Sankirtan devotee can feel and experience that mercy that one gets from our higher authorities. <laughs> We're able to do these things because of the mercy of the spiritual master. Sridhar Prabhupada wrote to my godbrother, Yogesh Chandra Das, on December 7th, 1975, quote, yes, we are running on the mercy of the spiritual master. To understand this point is to get mercy more and more. Yasha Prasad Bhagavat Prasad. Hare Krishna. So again, to do book distribution is to give mercy as well as to get mercy. Shakespeare writes in The Merchant of Venice, the quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. That is Sankirtan in the ultimate sense. So I won't take too much of your time. We, we want you to get out and make the final push on this marathon. So I'm just praying that my humble talk will reach the ears and the eyes of all you valiant devotees who are distributing Srimad Bhagavatam sets now. And I hope this little talk will give you the inspiration to achieve the goal of 25,000 Srimad Bhagavatam sets distributed. And if other devotees, uh, perhaps not those who are out on Sankirtan, but they can contribute help in small ways, the others distribute the books, you know, cook some nice prasadam and arrange things in such a way that the devotees can get out, wh whatever. If other devotees can come forward and assist you in any way, that would be wonderful. There's a saying, many hands make small work. This is essentially a chance for all of us to share our good fortune with others to display that crest jewel of all a devotee's good qualities. And devotees have so many good qualities, but what is the crest jewel of a Vaishnava's good qualities? Compassion. So, distribute, be, be compassionate upon those who haven't 
come in contact with Krishna consciousness. Give them mercy and you'll get mercy too. <laughs> we all need mercy to get back home, back to Godhead. And Sankirtan is one of the best ways to get that mercy. When Sridhar Prabhupada received news of the book distribution in uh, Los Angeles and elsewhere in the United States in 1972, he was very pleased and amazed. Although involved with you know, many affairs throughout the world, he put them aside and relished the overwhelming victory of book distribution in America in that year in particular in the uh, Christmas marathon as it became known. And hearing how the books had gone out and how, you know, how many devotees were involved, he immediately called his, uh, and his personal secretary and he dictated the following famous letter with which I will conclude my address today. And surely Srila Prabhupada's words are the most inspiring of all. Quote, my dear Rameshwar, I beg to acknowledge receipt of your letter dated December 27th, 1972. And with great happiness, I have read your figures of amount of books sold during the three-day period of December 22nd to 24th, 1972. It is scarcely believable that more than 17,000 books could have been sold by one temple in three days. That indicates to me that people are at last becoming a little serious about this Krishna conscious movement in your country. Otherwise, why they should buy our books? But they can see that our boys and girls, devotees, are so much sincere and serious to distribute the message of Krishna consciousness. They are at once struck by seeing them and therefore they appreciate and purchase. This is unique in the world. So I'm so much pleased upon all the boys and girls in Los Angeles and all over the world who are understanding and appreciating this unique quality of our transcendental literature. And voluntarily, they're going out to distribute despite all circumstances of difficulty. By this effort alone, they are assured to go back home, back to Godhead, unquote. So I wish all of you book, book distributors and your supporters and helpers, you valiant soldiers, uh, men and women, all success in the remaining just a few days of, of, the, of the Vajra campaign. Make that final push. And I uh, take the dust of all of your feet and uh, put it on my head. Your humble servant, Indra Swami. O glorious to Shira Prabhupada, transcendental book distribution, ki Shri Krishna Shankir Tanya Geki, go Premanandi, Hari Hari Bo. <laughs> Thank you.